We're in a two-bedroom apartment, in a sense, except one apartment is on the outside of a wheel and the other is on the inside of a wheel. So we never actually see each other. We have, uh, oh, what is it, six rooms? We have a bathroom, a kitchen, a dressing room, a bed, a workroom, a relaxation room. Those are our activities. And each time we want to change an activity, we need to coordinate and walk to turn the wheel to have a furniture that enables that activity come to us. We all have rhythms and for this work, Ward and I need to synchronize our daily routines so that when I'm sitting in a chair, Ward needs to sit in a chair. It's kind of scary. I can't just put down my shoes and walk over to the other side because my shoes will disappear. They'll just go away. Everything has to be done in an obsessively controlled way. Every little thing you do is the opening up a door to a potential disaster. When we started thinking that we really had something going, it was when people could walk in, look at the piece, and immediately see that the two of us were interdependent, that we relied on each other. And in the case of stability, it was this large balance beam, kind of like a seesaw. And if you get up and move, it would change the balance of the piece, and it was, it was actually unstable. And that, but the whole point was to make it stable by having us cooperate. I would say that architecture is already a performance. As soon as you write living room on a floor plan, you've associated an action with a space, and the script for that space is living room or dining room. We dine there. There's a quote by Winston Churchill, we make our buildings, thereafter they make us. The fact that we build a space, and then once we start occupying it, we change as people. Architecture not only constructs spaces, but it constructs relationships as well. And if you change the design of the building, you're going to change the nature of the relationships that are produced by occupying the building. And I think what performance artists have been really successful at doing is taking everyday actions and working with those actions as an aesthetic proposition in and of themselves.